Hey y'all, out here at a friend of mine's house and uh, he's got a rare little car. I guess they're rare. I hadn't heard of them until I was up at the uh, Grand this spring and uh, I shot one. I've not even posted the video on my channel yet, but I shot one. I wasn't sure what it was, but uh, eventually I found out that uh, it's a real car. Um, they're Crosleys. It was an American made car. I think they stopped making them back sometime in the 50s, but they were... Uh, they're just small little roller skate like cars but uh anyways i think they're pretty cool and uh, eddie's got a really nice one and i wanted to show it to you so let me run him down and we'll take a look at this thing eddie how are you brother i'm doing fine scotty you doing okay i'm doing all right great tell, tell me a little bit about this hot rod you got all here. right well it's uh, actually it's all original 1946 crosley pickup truck and it's 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 the r very rare it's uh the round side they call it there weren't too many of those built when Crosley built that one in 46. Right. Tell me uh, tell me a little bit about Crosley. An American yes, car uh -huh. company? Uh, right. A lot of people think they're, they're British, but they're not. They were built in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. They, were, they started uh, Pal Crosley. His family had invented or started building the Crosley radios. You remember those? No, I don't remember and them, but so I'll he, take your word he for He said it. he stepped out with a leap of faith and he wanted to get in the car business so uh, he invented the little Crosleys back in 1939 and the last one that was built was 1952. Wow, so they were one of the original uh, what we'd call puddle jumpers. Right, yeah. Was there, I mean, was there an economical reason they made them so small? Why'd they make the cars so small? Absolutely, uh, Pal was the type of man that uh, he, they said he had a big heart and all that but he wanted to, to build an economy car for way less than a thousand dollars for people you know that, that could afford it right right so what did something like this sticker for new you know well uh, new on this one right here it was probably around 785 785 dollars right wow yeah. and that was back in 46 right right how long have you had this car i've had this one for a year oh wow not too long then right and what kind of power plants it got in it? Well, it's got a four-cylinder, 26-horse uh, cast iron engine. No kidding. Right. Cast iron. Cast iron. Uh -huh. You think it would take more horsepower than 26 to move right. the motor? That, that's right. Absolutely true. And it's three-speed in the floor, factory built. No kidding. In the floor. What's this thing weigh? Uh, this truck here probably weighs less than a, a thousand pounds. Can I open the door? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, Just, let's look at you that. See, you open it not like that, but backwards. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Actually, it's not a... It's it's kind of nice in there. You did a nice job of finishing it off and all. You would yeah. think, you know, back then, burlap seats or whatever. <laughs> What's this behind the seats? Well, this is just the way they designed this little truck. A lot of people would think this was a station wagon cut out or a panel truck cut off. Right. But this is exactly the way they built them uh, at the Crosley factory. Huh. And how long did they make them for? Uh, they made them from 1939 until uh, 1952. Wow. Nice little wood rails on it there. What's the uh, tow capacity of something like this? Well, uh, probably uh, more than likely uh, around uh, 15, 12 to 1,500 pounds. Holy cow, yeah. that's not bad. Yeah. That's more than you'd think. I thought, right. I'd, be, I thought I'd have a hard time towing me and you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the original color on it? Uh, I believe it is. I believe it's, uh, it's, it's, it's had one repaint. Uh, and I, I, it came out of a museum in Minnesota. Right. It was in there for years, and they fixed it up. They uh, they re-chromed the bumpers. And uh, Scotty, if you notice, it doesn't have very much chrome. No. That there again goes uh, for economical. Yeah, cost. Yeah. Yeah, keep cost. the cost down. Right. Keep now look down. at that tailpipe. I got a water pipe bigger than that. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's something. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Holy smoke, and what's it got on it, 13 inch wheels? Uh, 12 inch. 12, that was my next guess. <laughs> and then what you, you got the uh, dipstick back here for the gas. Yeah, this is a yardstick. Uh, what happened, the man that I bought it from, his gas gauge quit working. Instead of spending 75 or $80 for 
a, a fuel sending unit, he came up with this idea, a yardstick. That's pretty cool. Uh, gasoline, and right. this is full, and this is a, this is half full and a quarter, quarter tank, tank, and this is the way it works. Uh, Scotty, you just open up your gas cap and you stick it right down in there. It goes to the bottleneck goes straight down. You pull it out. Well, look at that. Well, got got three quarters of a tank. Three quarters of a tank. Holy right. cow! How many <laughs> gallons does that thing hold? Uh, it'll only hold about probably eight gallons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Then he made it fit so it would stick up there too. Yeah. yeah that's cool. <laughs> now, what's this little access panel for here on the front? Uh, that is your. Of course, they didn't come out with air conditioning, and that that is a a vent that you open up, oh, an okay. air vent. Oh, okay. Right. Cool. Can we see under the hood? Yes. Is that the original hood ornament on it? No, that's the that's add-on. I was going to say, that's pretty fancy if he was trying to keep it costs is, down. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, would you? Holy smoke, a John Deere lawn tractor's got a bigger <laughs> yeah. motor than that on it. Guy told me one time, he said he had a lawnmower with a bigger motor. Yeah, yeah, I believe he's telling you the truth. <laughs> Does it have any kind of like power steering or anything like no. that? No. You just, really don't need it. Nah, it's I wouldn't a, think. Yeah. Look at that little radiator. <laughs> yeah. And now again, they got intercoolers that that big. The battery's almost big as the motor. Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> but it's a, it's a six volt system. Oh yeah. Yeah, six volt. Yeah. Can we hear it start? Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's hear that. We can hear it over the. Uh, people trimming trees in the front yard. It's the way things work, folks. Look at that. Boy, that thing starts right up, don't it? <laughs> it's got a locomotive horn on it. Eddie, that is, that is cool, man. You gotta love looking back at uh, America Automotive, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously we know the major three, but there was a lot more than that that came along there. And, uh, you know, most people have forgot about it. But, uh, man, what a cool little truck. And then the windows slide open there. Right, they do. Slides either forward or backward, whatever you want to do there. Either way, they'll yeah. go this way or that way, and then go that way and huh. open up for you. Right. Huh. Well, brother, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you letting me come out and look at this. Yes, sir. Because this, this is something that, you know, except one of the cool things about what I do is I get to sometimes capture history, you know. And I think that uh, this is something not a lot of people know about. I didn't know about them until this spring. And I really didn't even know about them until later than that. I, like I said, I kind of goofed on the car I saw up at the Grand because I didn't know if it was real or not. But <laughs> um, come to find out, they are real and they're part of uh, automotive history here in the United States. So, anyways, Eddie, I appreciate it so much, yes, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Folks, there you go, 1946 Crosley pickup truck, built round in Cincinnati, round side, yeah. built back, it, look, it almost looks like a pedal car, <laughs> it looks like a kind of a big pedal car, but I just thought it was cool, I thought it would be something you all were interested in, hope you all have enjoyed it, see ya.